And as we learn more about the shooting, the safety of health care workers is now top of mind for many. Here in Rochester, Mayo Clinic already has a partnership with Rochester Police. And as our Uba Ali found out, it is expanding. Gregory Ulrich went to Alina Clinic knowing that he was going to shoot up that clinic. It's sort of surprising is the amount of violence and threatening behavior that happens in the healthcare system. Mayo had been telling us that uh, for years or for the last few years for sure. RPD Community Services Division Captain Jeff Stillwell says a safe and secure place for healthcare professionals to help others is crucial. For their employees to provide quality healthcare, they have to feel safe. One year ago, after talks with Mayo Clinic, the Human Resource Officer Program began. Six months ago, we moved three officers into the hospital. That's their full-time job, and we really started integrating them into the healthcare environment, particularly in the, in the emergency department. The HROs work closely with Mayo's security team. In those six months, they have taken care of more than 200 incidents. Trying to just be a friendly face in that environment, uh, somebody that everybody knows before there's any crisis, somebody that that uh, people can come to if they have concerns about their safety, about safety outside the hospital. It's also a partnership that adds a new perspective to threat assessment. Bringing their sort of uh, uh, medical and mental health knowledge to the table with our security and law enforcement knowledge to try to really determine um, what the probabilities of some of these people that make threats. In a statement, Mayo says all staff go through training, such as active shooter training, and that improving hospital security has always been an ongoing effort. And that effort will soon include two more HRO program officers. I hope to expand both the hours of coverage at the hospital and uh, sort of the scope of what their duties are. In Rochester, Uba Ali, KTTC News. Captain Steelwell says he hopes the additional officers will be added by August.